All right, welcome to part, I'm gonna call this F. I think we're at F right now, but I'll put the actual number on the thing. So I have the Psyonix Aurora Pro that I've been testing for doing a bunch of different tests with it. In today's video, I'm going to test the panoramic features. So I have this lovely Vista here, which I will use the iPhone to show in a second. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is basically use the Psyonix panoramic mode to basically capture a picture like this. Now it actually works very similar to how the iPhones work. Another quick little note about this, where as the iPhone, you can go left or right with your panoramas. Uh, with the Psyonix Aurora Pro, you can only start at the left and then rotate right. If you try to go the other direction, it gives you an error and it stops. But I want to sort of compare what this does, and it's set to day mode right now, and then I'm going to do it again in night mode and sort of show you what you can get. It's kind of interesting, but let's go do it. And there's a little scale on the bottom that indicates how far you've turned. All right, so we're gonna do that again, but this time in the night mode, right there. So now we're in night mode. Yeah, so it had a little bit of difficulty in the image because it had very bright reds over here. But as I go over this way, I get more and more not red and it actually switched the exposure about halfway through because it's in automatic mode that uh, gave it a pretty sharp contrast. So just something interesting to see. Um, I'm gonna give it a try again, but overall, I think that if you're gonna do this, you might have to set your shutter auto, um, in manual, although I'm not sure if that's gonna solve the auto ISO problem. All right, so I'm gonna come back and revisit this once it gets a little darker and do the same thing again at night, um, just for a comparison. I then took the night image and I ran it through some denoising to try to reduce the noise. And while I was able to get a lot of the pattern noise out, the vertical banding, especially visible in green, was quite difficult to get out unless I went and actually reduced the green channel itself, which was not what I wanted to do. So finally, here are all three shots side by side, with the top one being the day mode, the middle one being the night mode during the day, and then the last one at the bottom is night mode at night. Now, someone might ask me why I didn't bother to show a twilight example, and the reason is because it basically looks like daylight, and the only time you would actually use twilight over the daylight one is if it was too dark for the daylight. So it basically looked the same, and therefore I didn't include it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, etc., please leave them in the section below. And as always, thank you for watching.